Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Erotic Book Club, the book club where we read erotic books. I am your host, Jess Ross. Back with us. Woo! Wow. You know the moves. You yeah. know the points. <laughs> it's me. I'm so happy to be back. I'm so happy you're back. It's been a really dry few weeks, Jess. I know. <laughs> it just hasn't been the same without you. We haven't gotten as wet without you here either. Aww. A little drier on our end, too. Wow, that's really yeah. touching. That's friendship. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for being here, whether you are listening to us wherever you get podcasts, if you're catching up with us uh, a week behind on CH2, on our uh, YouTube channel, or our favorite way, if you are subscribed to Dropout, uh, and you are seeing it first there. Uh, we're so happy to have you here and part of our book club. Uh, the best part about being on Dropout, uh, for us at least, is that you guys get to be on the Discord and really feel like you're part of the book club with us. <laughs> As always, I have some of my uh, favorite comments from the Discord. <laughs> uh, Are you my dad? Said Andy has the funniest non-speaking ever. Uh, so uh, just watching his facial reactions. Uh, so Andy was our guest on Oh, Andy uh, Yes, yes, He's yes. a freak. I know him from New York. He's a total freak. I don't know <laughs> you listen to that one or watch that one, but I truly embarrassed myself in front of him, which was also a, a, a great goosh or gush debate. I misread goosh, oh wait, gush as goosh, and then I showed it to him and he went, that says gush. <laughs> uh, so that got talked about a lot on the Discord. Yeah. Um, Ian Adams said that he loved Janie. Woo! <laughs> we do too, Ian. Uh, we love having her on as our co-host. <laughs> She's a great gal. Uh, Kirby said you read a bear book. Yeah, you read bear book erotica, and it wasn't gay. And that's so true. It's true. That would be you would think something with a bear, and it would be gay. We've had a couple with bears now. Was this no. a, sorry, I wasn't here for that book. Was that a literal bear? It wasn't like a the That was a bear shifter. He could shift into a bear. <laughs> and you then, still mean the animal, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, a straight up bear. But they never made love when he was a bear. He okay. would just kind of when they'd make love, she would see like his bear power behind his eyes and know what an animal he was. But then sometimes he would straight up be a bear and just like go eat salmon. Maybe and, and dip his face in honey. It was like a Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He wore just a t shirt shirt ass yeah. hanging out yeah <laughs> um and then uh the cutest uh comment uh was from artificer ellie who uh, said that they just were catching up on erotic book club for the first time while they were gardening and Aww. they were loving <laughs> we uh listening to it we what, love that it's what the cutest it? little image you're watering your plants while you get yourself wet hell yeah we love it. i get also it. really loved someone posted a picture of gritty at the pride parade yes we love that here at erotic book club what a beautiful yeah we love gritty we love Philadelphia unbeknownst to us uh, <laughs> and this is a good segue into the next book Philadelphia played a major role yet again it was a character Sincere, yeah the fifth character <laughs> of the show yeah the uh, fifth, as if there were even four <laughs> um, Philly played a part uh, as well as many other things the book was teaching a first timer in the bathhouse <laughs> By Tyrone Myler. Uh, and as I mentioned, it was in Philadelphia. So, of course, we have a Philadelphia expert with us today. Uh, our guest, Connie, is here. <laughs> Connie, yeah. thank you so much for being here. Could uh, Now, have you lived in Philadelphia? No. Oh, interesting. <laughs> have you ever been? No, but I've read about it. And oh. see, sometimes you get the most expertise when you're not like stuck inside it. Like we probably don't see the Philadelphia that everybody else sees because we're from there. Jeff. I'm too mm. in it. You're too you're too attached. Yeah, you you're, don't. You're see from it. it, so you don't really know it that well. Exactly. Yeah. If you're in the Matrix, you can't observe it. Yeah. What's one of your favorite Philly facts? <laughs> uh, did you know that they have a Hershey factory? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my God! A whole <laughs> factory. I yeah. actually did I went and played the flute there once with my band oh, at, Hershey. Hershey. <laughs> at Hershey Christmas at Hershey the, the sweetest, sweetest place, place on earth. earth as much as we can sing we can't sing that I think that's all of it though so maybe it doesn't really matter and it's we're pro we're pro Hershey or not pro it whatever we have to be the whole park smells like chocolate I am yeah. so pro it they're gonna love that I mentioned it because it's a, an incredible park I filmed something at the Hershey Lodge once Ooh. and um 
uh, everything, like all the doors, like the numbers that are written on it, have, it look like chocolate bars mm. and stuff, and it's all like brown and chocolatey looking. Oh God, I love it there. <laughs> Um, also, <laughs> a famous erotic city. It yes, is. it's the definitely city known of brotherly for love. Mm-hmm. Exactly, yeah. Benjamin I, when, Franklin. They what? <laughs> Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin, very erotic man. <laughs> I think some of the founding fathers are hot. I guess they're all bad. I know though. he did this thing called air baths. What's where that? You just sit naked for an hour. Oh. Hmm. Oh. It seems like you don't and get we clean. call that an air bath. You don't. You don't <laughs> call that call summer that in New bitch. York. <laughs> <laughs> you used to call that lazy bitch. <laughs> just lying around naked in your house. You're like I'm being a lazy bitch today. <laughs> well, you say in a bathtub. No. Oh. But that's speaking what of <laughs> bathtubs. Oh, it's his turn now. We have another <laughs> expert here. We have a regular old bathhouse expert, Jesse. Yes, Woo! hi. Thank you so much for having me. Now, yes. Jesse, can you explain why you're a bathhouse expert? I worked at a hotel in Hollywood, and when I first started there, my boss was like, this used to be a bathhouse. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh, okay. And then he said, it's no longer a bathhouse, obviously. <laughs> but people will probably come in expecting it to be a bathhouse. And he was right. Um, I had a lot of people coming in asking if it was a bathhouse. And I had to say, no, it's just a regular hotel. And they were very disappointed. How um, often would that happen? Like, how many times nights, a week? Wow. Most nights when I first started, because they had just converted maybe a couple years afterwards. Oh, okay. So a lot of people, I'm not going to disparage anyone by saying they were on drugs. But, um, you know, that that energy of just like, is this still like how it was? You know, and I'm just, mm. I had to be like, so I'm, I'm so sorry. It's not. It's just like a hotel. I can get you a room. And then he was you like, you can still have sex here. Yeah. You can but jerk he was yourself like, off here. He was like, are there if you kids? you rent a room, you can jerk yourself off anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They'd be like, is there women here? And I'd be like, unfortunately, yes. Is you know? there women here? I wish here? there weren't any as yeah. well. But um, <laughs> a hotel that doesn't allow women? <laughs> That's well, a bathhouse. Whoa. Cool. <laughs> can you stay overnight in a bathhouse? Yeah, th- yeah. Because he rented a room in this book. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought that was like a private locker room type thing. There with a bed. Because he remember he well, I won't get ahead of myself. Yeah. But he didn't sleep there. Spoiler well, alert. I- <laughs> he passed out there. Oh. Yeah, you can I, I I don't know, at least the one that I worked at, I believe that you could because they were you hotel can stay rooms. Over you that know? makes sense to me. Like because uh if you're covered with like you know you need to shower and stuff like There's that or if you want to like actually have like a sex like like a know, sex weekend or a good a night's sex sleep. weekend or mm-hmm. a good night's sleep or something <laughs> private breakfast yeah. uh, lazy <laughs> bitch time <laughs> There's a continental breakfast at the bathhouse Ooh, wouldn't do that <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway well we could jump into it yeah uh so uh we usually say what characters are in the book but the it's really just from the perspective of the main protagonist mm-hmm. and uh we never get his name mm-hmm. and i think that's inter- just like a real bathhouse <laughs> kind of like i think that adds to the anonymity of it all of like oh random hookups like yeah you don't know their names yeah you know uh, so that's interesting. And it also puts us in his shoes. Mm-hmm. We can all be this young man. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'd give my name in a bathhouse, probably. You would? You know, like, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> follow oh me God. on Instagram? <laughs> Anything for the followers. Th- this guy didn't even see his people's faces, though. I know. Yeah. Which is scary. But you can still whisper I, their I name. Want, I wonder for some people that is kind of hot. Oh, I think, yeah. I, we sure. were talking. Like, I think for me, not so much. But I am sure there is something to, like, anonymous sex. Mm-hmm. That's really hot or anonymous group sex like that. That's really hot. Yeah, so that scared me because the first time it happened and he said that he he didn't see the face the whole time. I was so scared he was going to hear a voice and be like, "Dad." Dad? Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Interesting. That would have been that a shocker. Crazy, what but a twist! I read my too much son <laughs> teaching a first timer. Right? <laughs> teaching an old timer. Right? <laughs> oh my God. I, I will hold on. That's kind of. I bit. might have thrown up if that happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we'll get to those yeah. sections later. Let's start at the top. So okay. we meet our uh, protagonist. He recently graduated, uh, or he started, started college, college mm-hmm. in Texas. Texas. He describes kind of how it's a staunch conservative mm-hmm. uh, family and community that he has to pretend to be in a girl's with his friends. Uh, he doesn't date a lot, and they just think it's because he's a nerd. <laughs> Um, which is a tip. I mean, yeah, been there, done sense. that. Yeah. Been there, done that. Yeah. He's too busy to date. They said. <laughs> <laughs> 
just... He's too focused on his career. What career? What? That's what I said. <laughs> but that's... Working at the hotel that used to be a bathhouse. <laughs> Focusing on that career. Too busy to date. Um, <laughs> and then he's going to a convention in Philadelphia. Uh, and when he, so that's when I found out that the book happened to be taking mm-hmm. place in Philadelphia. Uh, and he describes like a kind of like a getting off the bus moment and there's like rainbows everywhere. <laughs> and I know exactly where in Philly he's talking about. Cute. It's the gayborhood oh. and the streets are lined with rainbows and there's rainbow flags everywhere. And it's like the cutest, that's prettiest cute. part of the city. Yeah. I wonder why he said, maybe he's from Philly because I would sit in like San Francisco, you know, or like West Hollywood. Or he New was at Orleans. a starting college convention convention he had to go i didn't <laughs> ever say what the convention was i was like why was a kid i kept forgetting his age because they said he went to a convention i was like oh he's an older man and then mm-hmm. they kept describing his like teenage asshole oh, yeah, and i was like he oh. lets you know he lets you know I, I, think he, I think he kept forgetting his age yeah because he kept referring to himself with his teenage i know ass. i would never call my asshole my 29 year old asshole <laughs> <laughs> my maturing 32 year old asshole my middle-aged asshole <laughs> my midlife asshole <laughs> um, so when he's there, he kind of gets right to it. He looks up the local scene and he finds a bathhouse. And he, I thought this part was interesting. He was like, not sure what a bathhouse was. Yeah. And he was like, when I think of it, I think of like Roman swimming pools. With older guys. That's and kind of what I think of too when I thought of Me a bathhouse. Too. Me too. Mm-hmm. And sheltered. it's funny because the bathhouse that he looks up, when I picked this book, I was like, oh, I." the only thing I know about Bath's house is that Samson Street one that used to be right next to the Philly Improv Theater mm-hmm. in Philadelphia that I perform at. And that is the one that he goes to. Ooh. Wow. Um... Yeah, I guess I assumed it was like Grecian. There were like, like I had aqueducts in my mind or something and lots of water. Yeah. Are there swimming pools? And bathhouses? Yeah. They're supposed to be Mine like had saunas. one. Mm. There was a sauna in this one. Mm-hmm. My, yeah, my hotel had one. Mm. Mm-hmm. It had a swimming pool? Mm-hmm. That's nice. Ooh. I guess to like cool off? I don't know. Yeah, I mean sex, sexy times in pools. Sexy times Like a naked pool. pool? Like that's fun, right? Yeah. That can get things going. I guess it depends how much chlorine's in it. <laughs> you gotta keep it clean. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is all chlorine. It's <laughs> just a pool of chlorine. Everyone's skin is burning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he goes in, the old man uh, who's at the front desk, him Hands him a uh, a locker key and a towel and a condom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which was nice as well. One condom though, mm-hmm. <laughs> which he never opens, never uses, never uses. Never Condoms uses. aren't used in this mm-hmm. one. If you reveal a condom in the first act, you yeah. have Check to use it. Condom. You have to use it in the third act. I'm surprised he didn't like just chuck it right at. The yeah, top. no, like, no, like <laughs> literary significance to him not using the condom. Uh, yeah. It's just like almost seems like the author forgot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the the guy forgot too. I never <laughs> used it. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it. It. I was like, but if because then it mentions that he kind of like puts on a towel, like they yeah. get undressed and put on a towel. But where would you put the condom? Or like, kind of it seems That's like true. somebody could mm-hmm. just come out just of anywhere and you start getting at it. Yeah. I think they should Everywhere. be kind of around. Yeah. Kind of like, uh, like. It made me think when I'm training my puppy and you have to have treats mm-hmm. everywhere because you never know when. <laughs> Dear God. Maybe you're supposed to just be wearing it the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Would it? Uh, it's been a while since uh, I've had a penis. Um, would, does it stay on if it's flaccid? Uh, not well. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. Not super well. It would probably. So you would just off. have to be erect the whole time too. I mean, you can be. You could be. You're on Is it easy to walk when you're erect? <laughs> Yeah. It's not easy to run, but it's easy to walk. <laughs> <laughs> he, he can't be like doing Olympian tasks yeah, or no, anything. I don't think he's doing lunches. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember the lunch. I, it was a gym. Like when he gave him the condom, the tone was like, oh, what is this? You know, like he's very innocent. Yeah. Which is great because I thought, I truly thought this was going to be like a love story, you know, that he was going to find love in this bathhouse. So I was very disappointed when it wasn't like a love story. Yeah. There was no plot. Yeah. It was just. It, straight up sex. It was a little bit of a diary entry, this whole book. Mm-hmm. I kind of like that about it. I thought he was, and we'll get more into it too, but like even he says he like is kind of awkward in this mm-hmm. first scene and like going around and there's like things that excite him. Like he sees the glory holes and he yes. instantly knows like, <gasps> like he's drawn to them and he mm-hmm. knows he wants to do it, but he's too scared. Mm-hmm. And I yeah. was like, that is probably how you'd feel. Like yeah. this like excited, but nervous. Yeah. You haven't mm-hmm. done it, but you know, like just as soon as you see it, you connect with it. <laughs> yes, and I thought it, there's 
there's something really sweet yeah. and real I, about that. I agree. And he got a little, he, the glory hole room he goes to because he passes the mirror room with the sex swings. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, I'm a little intimidated. Yeah. And then he goes to the glory hole room and he gets right to it. And there, <laughs> there's, uh, what the first guy he uh, he's like giving a blowjob to yeah. uh, has a reasonably undersized package is what I wrote. Down. He did oh. describe everyone's penis size yes. more so than anything else about yes. them. Because like and some he's not very kind about. Yeah, because like I'm like it doesn't matter, but to, I don't know what reasonably undersized is. That's an mm-hmm. interesting. I want, that probably means average. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Can't you just say like that's such a neg? You can just yeah. say average. Yeah. <laughs> was kind of a bitchy way to describe someone's penis. Yeah. She has reasonably undersized breasts. Yeah. <laughs> one guy at the very end, I feel so bad for. It's like one of the last guys that he's yes. with. And he's just like this like old, sad man with like a little toad. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. You didn't have to have sex with him. I know. I, I know. know. If you're like so judgy, whatever. He was but probably I, like 35. <laughs> what is <laughs> old, old an man. old, old, old man? Decrepit, only a six pack man. Yeah. But I mean, totally. honestly, though. That's pretty old. <laughs> oh, God. I'm I, 34. Well, <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I was thinking, what's the etiquette? Because as it, it as it progresses, there are like a lot of people joining in on the sex. Mm-hmm. And what is the etiquette if you don't want to have sex with somebody? Yeah. Like, like if there's a whole group of people there and everybody's kind of like coming in. Into? Is it just like if you enter, you're up for having sex with everyone there? I feel like that's wrong. That's like when, when you go to a TV set and it's like if you enter this bar, we're filming oh, yeah. mm-hmm. and you could set to you know whatever so like, that doesn't feel applicable yeah. to like sex I Does think all know sex the rules? needs to be maybe like, there's a sticker you can wear like a not scary farm where you don't want to get scared <laughs> <laughs> or, or like a safe or not a safe word but like a yeah, I don't know. I feel like you could have just been like, no, not you, old man. You know? <laughs> that like, would be no, so not you. Something polite, like, Everyone no, but you. never. <laughs> I think something like, ew, ew, ew. Just something like nice yeah. like that. Get it away <laughs> oh, from God, me. Die! <laughs> You're chode. <laughs> no chodes. I think if you just kind of scream directly into his face. <laughs> I, I don't know. If you're in a group sex and someone yells, no, not you. Like, you're yeah, going to go horrible. home and kill yourself, right? <laughs> I feel so bad, too. It's like the kid who gets picked last for, like, dodgeball or something. And it's sad. Um, I was like, I paid 10 bucks to be here. <laughs> nobody wants to fuck me. And you're standing there naked and like, oh, <laughs> with uh, your little condom. Does anyone you want? <laughs> oh, I think our team's full. Yeah. Oh, really? But then that person will have a stigma on them the whole day, the whole night. You know, like no one's going to want to fuck them now. They're going to be like, oh, you're the guy that, that one guy who was letting everyone fuck him said no to. Aww. So we're not going to let you do anything. Just That's go really home. really sad. <laughs> but it didn't, happen. it didn't happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> he let him fuck him. <laughs> well, kind of hopping back to this first part, um, he he does blow uh, the the guy with the uh, re- the average penis, mm-hmm. uh, and then the guy suddenly like stands up and is like uncomfortable or something and walks away, and then our protagonist feels bad. That feels true. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Like you have yeah. your first or one of your first sexual encounters, and you're like, oh no, did I do something wrong? Uh, uh, especially if you don't know the person really well, mm-hmm. and you're like, I can't ask them or something. Yeah. And it, this moment I like, but it was sort of a weird uh, step to like, if this, then I do this. Because mm-hmm. he's like, ah, I must go to Victoria's Secret and buy a thong and a yeah. mini. Skin. It was like, his inciting incident. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good This guy was following structure. He read but, damn, like a, yeah. a writing like, book. And my clothes were two ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, I guess that to me, maybe this is my own ignorance. It, that did not strike me as like, the next logical move. Yeah. I thought it would just be more like him exploring. Truly, I, don't. I think that I feel like I read this as a superhero book, you know, and that was the moment where he was he got like, bit by the radioactive Yes. Spider. And he was like, I'm going to become a superhero and fucking take as many dicks as I he can. He sucked the, the radioactive pre cum. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, whoa. And then a, a, an ancient pre cum ghost comes and says, and the, the, Tyler, <laughs> you have been written. You and are the, the panties one. and the skirt are his. His costume, like yes. a superhero costume. That's really cool. Yeah, that's how, and we'll get to it later, but he uses his superpowers yes. later I in the book. Yes, I love that. And <laughs> that's actually, that really does change things for me. <laughs> yeah. I really like that a lot. Because he leaves, yeah, he goes home, he showers. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, he... 
he even wrote down so that ended and as he was home he was like thankfully for the sake of the story things didn't end there for the mm-hmm. sake of selling a book <laughs> <laughs> I didn't just kind of suck somebody off and leave yeah. <laughs> and then go to the convention and go back to Texas yeah after my <laughs> freshman year convention in Philadelphia <laughs> um, so he's thinking about it he goes to Victoria's Secret and I like the little um, run of shopping too because everywhere <laughs> yes. he goes he's, he's stared uh, at he's stared at and people are looking really at him oddly mm-hmm. grow up at the sex shop Mm -hmm. yes he said he got weird stares specifically from women Mm -hmm. which is like grow up ladies women (laughs) because also i'm sure if these people are being judgy as hell like why are you a man and we can't shut the fuck up um i don't think that that would be that odd if a man was buying underwear either Mm -hmm. it wouldn't be but i can imagine this was written by a man who hates women (laughs) yeah maybe i can imagine there being instances where uh, someone who's not traditionally catered to at Victoria's Secret getting like lots of weird, especially yeah. because Victoria's Secret, the people who work there are per, uh, sometimes a little judgy. Mm-hmm. Sometimes yeah. at bra stores in general, they are judgy. <laughs> I love every bra store. Um, <laughs> okay, no libel. Um, <laughs> they could be just judgy about like what you know about your own body and what you like think you could fit into. And do they always want to measure you? Literally, yes. Really? They're always like, you're wearing the wrong bra size. And you're like, it's like they not- can tell like you're wearing like a trench coat every they can person that has worked at a bra store <laughs> will always be like I can tell by looking at you what bra size you're <laughs> like, <laughs> they're always That's, wrong and they're always no you're always wrong Connie you're always wrong <laughs> you don't know your you boobs. don't know anything about no, yourself no she, this bitch tried to measure me yeah. and be like you're a C cup I'm like oh, no, no, no 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 I should have better money <laughs> yeah I bet you ten thousand dollars I bet a C cup I had a get, terrible like, experience once I went to a store where it was supposed to be like it's like your second skin the bras, mm-hmm. but because my boobs are very like flat, my chest is wide. It certainly was not, and they didn't cater to my size. So it was a huge gap in it. And when she came back, she was like, "Oh well, you could just put some socks in there." And I was like, "Why the fuck am I buying? Why do you have a job? To my skin bra for like forty bucks that you stick that a I'm bunch of gym put... socks in? Idiots! It and you wearing insane. it now? You wearing it now? And oh my god! Oh my god! They smell These horrible. Socks didn't go Missing in the wash. <laughs> Jess's boobs smell horrible, but yeah, look they go great. Straight from my feet to my titties. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, anyway. At the sex yes. shop, uh, yes. this is an important little tidbit. He buys a uh, butt plug mm-hmm. and some lube. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and what else? Yeah. Oh, also a micro skirt. Yes, yes, yes. A micro mm. skirt, a medium flesh cock butt plug, yes. and a bottle of KY jelly. Yes. Um, and then I guess he goes back to the ba- bathhouse. He calls his parents. Wait, he goes back yeah, to the hotel and calls his parents. Oh, does he? Parents. Yeah. Yes. I forgot about that part. Yes. They don't get into the discussion. He's like, and then I awkwardly call my parents, which is so funny. Anytime I, I do something in bad in college, I would like, like if I was like drunk or something, then I would call and just be like, oh, hey, hi. Oh my God. I'm okay. Like <laughs> just kind of like telling on yourself, but not. Yeah. Mm. Um, so he does that and then he starts to like, kind of loosen up his his ass hole mm-hmm. a little bit. Mm-hmm. He like puts in the 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 jelly and the butt plug. What I appreciated this like detail cuz I do feel like I don't read a lot about that kind of like prep stuff mm-hmm, mm-hmm. with sex like now this erotica. is in the superhero movie this is him suiting up perfect you know this, this is, is the him telephone suiting booth. up <laughs> yes where he's like taking off his shirt <laughs> telephone yeah and, and just like putting a butt plug up his asshole <laughs> and he's ready to conquer the now world he takes off his glasses <laughs> yeah and he's finally handsome um actually i i honestly jesse i really <laughs> love this description yeah. i really love that framing device yeah uh, one thing i did not like is that he calls it his stuff little teen ass <laughs> I was like because even when he said he was like a freshman in college I was like oh, yeah. I don't really want to read about like teenagers doing this kind of stuff yeah. mm-hmm. uh, and I'm like I'm going to assume you're 18 but even though that doesn't make it like oh this is hot I'm just like <laughs> you're just legal Yeah, uh, uh-huh. I would rather you be like 25 mm-hmm. um, yeah. and, and, uh, and regardless of your age I absolutely don't need to preface <laughs> your asshole with your age <laughs> I guess I didn't like a mind it as much in this one because there were so many just like cute little awkward nervous right. moments where I was like I remember being and feeling like that yeah. it was like a nice little glimpse into somebody else's it, life I, I think the only reason I didn't like it is because if a teen wrote this, <laughs> I would be okay with it. Mm-hmm. If an older person wrote this, yeah. there's something that feels gross about it. Mm-hmm. An older person wrote this. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I think you're right, Connie. And that's what feels a little gross. Like, if, yeah. like 
I don't know. I said yeah. this before the thing, but I thought this was like this young man had this experience and wrote it down and everyone told me I was wrong. Uh, well, just by the end of it, you have to be wrong yeah. or this man is split open somewhere in the middle of Philadelphia. <laughs> or he's a superhero. <laughs> yeah. Philly's Philly's own. Yep. Uh, Red alert! Philly has an excess of cum! <laughs> we need someone to absorb all of it! Oh, and you know he <laughs> would. The city will explode! Yeah. You know he oh would. my gosh, the cum signal! <laughs> and you know what? And the invisible, like, you know, the invisible jet that Wonder Woman has, like, that. Yeah. His, that's his swing. It's a pre-cum. His swing yeah. Is yeah. that oh. vehicle? It's the Batmobile. Yeah. Is his swing? We'll get into the swing later. I yes, guess. but it's it uh, blowing my mind. He puts on his panties. He looks up a new club. He uses the directions on his phone to walk there, yeah. which I also Such like a that cute little detail. detail. And the thing that struck me is he's walking with this butt plug yeah. in his ass. Is that not real? I was going to ask, what, how I, does that work? I I've never done it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> never walked with never one. Never walked with a butt yeah. plug in my butt. You I know? imagined it was a very like John Travolta like kind of <laughs> sashay and down. The street type moment. Yeah. Yeah. I can't, can I tell, can't say, by the we way. Can't, we can't, and we know what that is. I know. I, I think you're, I think we're, we're on the same page. Yes. 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 I think I get it. It's a, it's a third. Uh -huh. He says his cheeks are sticking together. Yeah. Because of the KY jelly. Because squishy. Would yeah. it, would it be like a stilted walk? Like, kind of like, I'm trying to think, like, almost like trying to hold something in there? No, it would be in there, you know? Yeah. So I think it would just be like, <gasps> Yeah, it would just hurt with every. Maybe not hurt. Maybe hurt good. You okay. Know? I was wondering that too. Yeah. Um, I, so I just good. I couldn't. I'm gonna sing a move. I couldn't picture it. I couldn't picture me doing that. That's, yeah. That's so lot. maybe that's not a realistic. I detail. couldn't picture me walking. Period. Yeah. That's a long, yeah. long walk. Yeah. Uh, so he gets to Club Philadelphia. There's uh, videos playing around of porn. Uh, I like how it, it's. I screenshotted this part. It's like, oh, and by the way, did I bet you there's gay porn playing everywhere? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he specifically says a young man getting stretched and mounted by military man, uh, military men. Mm -hmm. Which, thank you for your service. <laughs> 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 Mm -hmm. He saw one man jerking off to the video a solid seven inches. <laughs> <laughs> This and he can just that's his superpower is he can tell how big their dicks instantly. are just he by has looking. A ruler eye. <laughs> yeah. Like like that yeah. iPhone app that can like measure your cat yeah, or you whatever. You should go to a carnival and like always like guess the weight. Of the <laughs> yeah, list. I can't guess your age, but I can guess your dick size. Mm -hmm. <laughs> step right up, step right yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> Pack measurements. <laughs> I'm not a day over seven. <laughs> uh, he goes to his room. He uh, slides out the butt plug. Mm -hmm. Applies more lube. Yeah. Puts it back in. He's got a skirt on. His ash cheeks are hanging out. And he says he's feeling sexy and dirty. And yeah. he's loving it. <laughs> he loves loving it. this I, was, I was liking this a lot. Yeah. yeah. I'm so happy for him. Yeah. He walks around. He sees the group showers. And then he's so excited to see the glory hole. Yes. <laughs> he does. I will say that he does pass by something called the slurp ramp. Yes. yes. Which was not. Um, and it was like sort of explained, but I guess I had to look it up. And I, I did do too. have the definition. Oh, you yes. do? There is a definition. A yes. raised platform with holes uh, allows <laughs> men to give and receive fellatio. <laughs> is it worth or worth the same? Oh. <laughs> hey, who knows how to Google, huh? But I feel like, yeah, he was disappointed because he was like, oh, that takes away from being on your knees. He likes the he knees He likes part. being on your knees. I liked a lot of these little micro like preferences because yeah. that does feel like there are some things that like maybe seem like they're better that some people are just like, actually, I like it this other other way. And like, maybe yeah. that good, you know, that's part of his power is like super strong knees. Yes. You know? I have bad knees, so I would have loved this. <laughs> oh my God. Finally, a break for my knees. Well, it's, I, not, it's not I'm sexy heading if you're up doing to the that and then you're like, oh, okay, let me yeah. get up now. Yeah. You just yeah. feel like, oh. With the slip ramp, <laughs> make yeah. everything in your life easier. Mm -hmm. Um, um, there's also yes. a large wooden X with straps, which I imagined was like what they put um, Theon on on Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. what Ramsay put some on, mm -hmm. which made that whole thing like maybe <laughs> that was supposed to be a little sexy too. I'm yeah. sure Ramsay got off on that. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a steam room, couple yes. going at it. They don't seem to mind the attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody watching. And then we get back to these these glory holes. Yes. <laughs> uh, I thought this scene was hot. I liked the glory hole stuff. Uh, I like when he describes like he looks through the hole and he like tugs on the guy's towel and then it like falls. I was yeah. like, that's that's nice erotica. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's nice erotica. It is but funny to think of a little hand like coming. I know. Through, like, I, was, I, I one logistics question I had is like, is the, 
how big is the I think hole? it must be big enough for him to get his hand in. Because, like, in, in Indian culture, you wear bangles, uh-huh. and, like, they're very um, tight. And uh-huh. even sometimes if they look like they fit, mm-hmm. this part of your hand is so wide. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's, like, a big squeeze. So I was like, how big is this hole? It was probably the size of a Pringle can. A Pringle can? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you want to comfortably get your hand in yeah. and out yeah. while holding something. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. So if you guys can imagine Put that a into Pringle your can. mind. <laughs> if you guys can, Every time you reach into a can of Pringles, a Pringle can. imagine that you're pulling on a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and we all know the slogan for Pringles. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so Slurp. he's jerking him Slurp. off through the hole. I did write down he describes oh, the Pringles <laughs> slogan as Slurp. <laughs> With that guy winking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, new pizza flavored Pringles. <laughs> Slurp. <laughs> I see it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like sweating. <laughs> so nasty. Uh, he does describe his he, as he's jerking him off and his penis is getting bigger. He describes uh, the man penis is a thick salami mm-hmm. hanging erect semi erect yeah. uh, and then he starts to suck him off yes. uh-huh. uh, he's moaning uh-huh. yes. there's saliva going down his yes. chin a lot he's of pre-con- mm-hmm. he gagged that felt very realistic too I appreciated that mm-hmm. detail a lot because I don't think I see that as much like he even like coughs yeah. which I'm like that feels real. Yeah. But then it got too real because it was coming out of his nose. It was. And that's that when was I was gross. like, this is upsetting. This is upsetting. I, I kind of appreciated it. <laughs> this guy keeps it real. He keeps it fucking real. He's not here to glorify. I come out my nose, though. I don't he, think... Well, you didn't try hard enough, Jess. Also, and you weren't a superhero. <laughs> clearly, the person wasn't pre-coming enough. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> There's a... Uh, maybe... Someone fact-checked me on this. Can anyone pre-come this much? It I would like, say yes. Really? I think so. Okay. There are some... Maybe I'm not doing anything right because this seems like a lot of pre-cum mm-hmm. this seems like it eight ounce glass of milk pre- level <laughs> That's, pre-cum. I, can't, I don't want to think eight about eight that glasses of pre-cum a day. That, that is the level of pre-cum we're talking it's not as small it's like a tall you know truly I mean a lot of uncut guys like who are not circumcised pre-cum a lot more really mm-hmm. if circumcision plays into that I believe so I might be just making this up but from my experience don't fact check this don't fact check um, this don't fact check I this I believe it's true that a lot of guys that are uncircumcised <laughs> size pre come a lot more interesting is it because there's something wrong with them <laughs> <laughs> is it because they're nasty because <laughs> cuz god hates them <laughs> is it cuz god hates it's them? something to do with their foreskin i think you know I was one guy who wasn't circumcised and i don't remember more pre cum than usual. I do remember I had all, the first time I saw it, it was erect, mm-hmm. so it just looked like all the other ones I had seen. And then it wasn't until it went down when I was like, oh, uh-huh. which was interesting. Yeah. yeah. And he was from France. <laughs> and that's yes. apparently a Sir French Wait a minute. This sense. is the second um, like international wow. uh, little boy I've heard you. Oh, yeah. I won't say little. little I didn't boy. mean to say little. Hey, <laughs> I can't eat a broad, baby. <laughs> I had a good time. Mm-hmm. Um, what's okay? Saliva going down the chin, coming yeah. out the nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, another interesting part, which I didn't realize this was a thing, was that um, after all of that had happened, then he turned around and put his butthole mm-hmm. into the. And I didn't I know you could do that. Traditionally, only knew a glory hole to be like me too. sucking off. Mm-hmm. But I it, like that. Yeah, that's common. Full purpose. I, I've seen it. Yeah. Uh, uh, not live, but yeah. I've seen it in videos. Yeah. yeah. You know, before. The concert on video. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. The live, uh, the Eagles live. Uh huh. <laughs> but yeah, I've seen that before. The unplugged. <laughs> <laughs> But he goes seriously from zero to a hundred so quick, and I think yeah. it's the super. Uh, that's his superpower moment, yeah. and he's just like it's. He's hulking out a little bit, you know, oh. yeah. and just like going for it all. Yeah, yeah. He's got so much going on because he's also tending he's, to the butt plug. He's yeah. double. Uh, he's skewering. Yeah, uh, b- 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 in a few like short going moments. from the first night, where, you know, where he barely sucked a dick and then felt self conscious to now. Yes, is it, wild. Wasn't this all within like maybe less than twenty four hours? Yes, interesting. I would yeah. say so. Crystal meth. <laughs> <laughs> That's his, it yeah. could be. Mm-hmm. Um, um, 
Oh, yes. Okay, wait. So he's being skewered at this point because he, he has his butthole in one hole and then um, he's kind of leaning against a wall on the opposite side and there's a glory hole on that side too. And that's he's called being skewered? It's, <laughs> that's what this book called it. I don't know. Mm. When I, it's I, a girl, I would, I would have called it being double towering. Oh, okay. I prefer like the Chinese finger trap. Oh, interesting. Oh. Yeah, yes. It's so beautiful. Every culture like has a <laughs> has a dumpling. Every culture yeah. has a donut. Every culture uh, has a name. For, like, I don't know if it's cultural. That's just what I call it. <laughs> skewering <laughs> just across the the world like hands yeah. across America. That's really yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So beautiful. <laughs> um, but during this, uh, th- one of my favorite lines of the book, he goes, suddenly one of the newcomers realized, because a lot of people are watching, mm-hmm. suddenly one of the newcomers realized I was wedged between a cock and a hard place. At that point, and in I, my mind, mm-mm. I was like, this book, that sentence was written and then this book was written around <laughs> <this book>. 100%. <laughs> oh yeah, that line God. jumped out at me too. That I, yeah. It kind of took me out of it. Because it was too punny. It was too Honey. Yeah, like he looks to Cameron, he says it while yeah. he's, he's got a dick in his oh. mouth and in his asshole. <laughs> maybe that was like a publisher's note of like, maybe it was a rock in the heart. We need place. a pithy, yeah, like yeah. the movie poster tagline. Publisher, that's yeah. their only note. <laughs> <laughs> what about? Don't hey, fix, don't I don't mind the typos. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, there's a bunch of fucking typos. Yeah. Don't so fix many. all these typos, but if you can make it a cock in a hard place, <laughs> then I'm we'll on board. Get this on Amazon, <laughs> baby. baby. Uh, Click. <laughs> via the wall of observers, I did write down the line, uh, wall of observers all furiously pumping their hard it's, It reminds me of the Titanic, the lower decks with like, the coal, just like, <laughs> <laughs> which is like a furious like steam like assembly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they were going to say like the violinists, they like keep playing. Oh, they keep playing when the ship goes down. <laughs> <laughs> And they're just loving it. They're just loving it. Oh, my God. So, yeah, once kind of these two join and then everyone starts to hear how much fun they're having Mm -hmm. and really everyone starts to jump on board. Which is beautiful. Um, uh, Oh, they also beat mercilessly on my prostate. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which... It's so funny because I know that that is anatomically what is happening. To me, f- mentions of the prostate mm-hmm. take me, it's a little too clinical. It didn't for me. feel oh. very sexy. Does Did, it, is it? Do other people just like it? That we don't get it. It's yeah, I think us. you don't get it. Yeah, okay, I think cool. you don't get it. Because cool. for I me, I was totally like, fair. oh, okay, cool. Hot. Good for him. Yeah, good yeah. for him. Does that mean it's like really getting in there? Yeah. To okay. me, to me, that evokes like prostate checks and like prostate cancer and yeah. like older. Yeah. It feels more like, clinical. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, what would you like instead? Beat little, the pussy little bean, up. Little bean. Little bean? I mean, Wait, for what? <laughs> for my clip? For a prostate. Because oh, from oh, if it beat hits that the prostate. Beat that little bean. <laughs> Bush's like... barbecue baked beans. <laughs> Roll that little bean footage. <laughs> okay, so no. So no. Prostate's sexier. <laughs> what would you call yeah, it, Yeah, prostate honey? beats little bean. I didn't bean. mind prostate, actually. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. Maybe I just heard it so much in like... Uh, like a medical, like commercials, mm-hmm. like kind of thing for like mm-hmm. men health checks and stuff. I have two, but I didn't mind it. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's great. See, this is what's yeah. beautiful about erotica. This is beautiful. I love it. Uh, here's something I found strange. He calls one of them a wild animal. Mm-hmm. I I think animal. He bleeps out. I was yeah. The like, N I M A, and it all fits. I wrote it down. It <laughs> animal fits, and I can only imagine that's what it was. I'm like, you have said some pretty <laughs> raunchy yeah. stuff. Are you like PETA? Like, why are you not well, be, saying well, also animal? Also, he mentions dicks in the form of like horses. You yes. know, so he like really you know, describes their horse dicks and like, yes. thrust me like a horse. So that part was intense. Cause it also talked about how you could almost like see the penis, like in the throat. I was like, yeah. Damn. Damn. like a snake, like eating a, Deer. Or like a, uh, I would say an egg. <laughs> an egg? I've seen snakes eat eggs before. Oh, what is egg? What are you talking about? Uh-huh. Like chicken's eggs. Yeah. Snakes, Chicken? Yeah. Snakes eat eggs. What do you think snakes eat? <laughs> Everything. Well, eggs are included. We're saying like it's that look of like I'm, you can see the Yeah, yeah, that's why I said a deer. You didn't know snakes ate eggs? I mean, it would rip it open. Deer? It would rip. I saw a video of like a really big snake eating like a crocodile. Like an and anaconda. And both of them died. Aww. I think I saw that video. <laughs> <laughs> That's a metaphor for one of the first videos war. I saw was on um, Windows. They had like the encyclopedia floppy disk, you know, yeah. and like it was like d- just a snake eating an egg. <laughs> I'm imagining like scrambled. No, 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 no. Just yeah, like a full first he egg. gets his little <laughs> hands and he puts it on a skillet. Uh-huh. Oh, they browned. Oh well. Oh, <laughs> I wanted them over easy. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> Salt pepper. But it was yeah, it was like fine, Rekka. It was like a snake eating a deer. Yes, Thank that's you. what it looked like. Thank <laughs> yes, yeah. The dude comes. Uh, he calls him a Philly fucker in his mouth. Um, that's the Philly special. The mm-hmm. Philly fucker. Uh, it's whiz, baby. Uh, and then he gets a few more in, and then and then there's one point he has three cocks in his face at once. Yes. So after that happens, yeah. I think if especially if it were my first time, I would need like okay, I need a shower. Oh, I'm gonna go to my room. Period. I need a nap. Not I need for a him. snack. He has three, and then he takes them all on at once: mm-hmm. one in the mouth and two in both hands. That's a, now. <laughs> this is one the in point. The mouth is worth two. In the <laughs> where I don't know if I don't know if I can say this movie, but it's a movie, and like there's a famous hallway fight scene you know are you gonna say john wick no because i wrote john old, wick old, in my old notes. boy okay old boy where he fights people with a hammer down a hallway and that's what reminded me of this oh. you know because so oh. many people were coming at him oh, it's like um neo in the matrix yeah like mr all the mr smiths <laughs> our little dicks coming at him yeah but he's just like instead of like hitting them he's just like oh, sucking them off yeah. you know and so like he was just he's just tearing through this whole bathhouse yeah i think i thought of john wick because they he goes into detail of walking into the place mm-hmm. and you see like each room and you're like oh I know he's gonna come back and just fuck shit up mm-hmm. in this room like yeah. when John Wick walks through like the glass room for yes. the first the time room. I'm like oh this is going down in Whoa. this room soon. yeah or like he walks by the lava thing I'm like somebody's going in that lava in the pit the version of this he's gonna walk by a room full of plugs yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then he's like yes <laughs> um, also in this scene another quote that really stuck with me is someone put hot gravy into my greedy ass just like the slut I knew I oh had become. God. What do y'all think of hot gravy in my greedy Well, that's ass? disgusting, I think. Just the color. <laughs> just the color, you know. Gravy. Some gravy is white. Oh, you're right. True, like I, a, gra- I, I, a biscuit ch- and Chili's gravy. has chili for <laughs> Shut <laughs> Shut up. Connie, which shut day, up. Which day, sorry, Connie? Sorry, which sorry, day does it have? Sorry, uh, there's a chain restaurant no, famous no, for having mashed potatoes. <laughs> mashed potatoes with a white gravy. That's quite tasty, you guys. So wow. when you're reading potato this, skins in there. Okay, What's when up? you're reading this, we want you to think of two things. One, we want you to think of Pringles. <laughs> two, Chili's white gravy. Think of that going in your, your greedy little oh ass God. at an early bird special. Because I think brown, you know, like brown gravy, yeah. traditional Thanksgiving gravy. Thanksgiving dinner. And that sounds disgusting coming out of a penis. But <laughs> if you think about it as chili's gravy, <laughs> what if then it's a, What hot. if it's a chowder? That's even more gross because there's chunks in chowder, you know, and that's just a whole okay, other thing. I think gravy tastes better uh, than cum. So. Condensed, <laughs> condensed milk. Condensed milk is good. A Thai Ooh, iced tea. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> if men came Thai iced tea, I would, I would yeah. be Love sucking it. their dicks. No non-stop. boba. Stop. No but boba. Kate, I would. <laughs> Kate, bye. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thai iced tea. Here I just come. R- Not after six p.m. Too much caffeine. Yeah. Or just like tea. warm cinnamon icing. You know, that's what would. Get yeah. me, you know? Yeah, or like, yeah, I think Cinnabon icing. Because um, I know that it don't taste like that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but. But it I, could. If I <laughs> don't, if I had one note for the author, I'd be like, just change that to hot Cinnabon. Cinnamon, icing. Cinnabon. Yeah. If you were the publisher. Like when, <laughs> you, the publisher. when you get the can of Pillsbury, like cinnamon <laughs> and we'll rolls, get... and then the icing comes in the separate uh-huh. tube. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> or that little, like, the Domino Cinema sticks, and you just get that, mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He was definitely having a manic moment <laughs> that uh, I think people have, but the second after they come, all of a sudden they're going to sober up and be like, I, I, I need to get out of here. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. <laughs> yeah. Totally. <laughs> Uh, so he is with all these guys and then everybody comes and he's like covered in cum and he's like, I gotta go take a shower. But yeah. the shower is through the uh, mirror room. The Ramsey yes, room. This is the John Wick moment where he has yes. to get to the shower but in order to get there he has to go through so Yeah, much. I feel like a video game John Wick moment. Uh, yeah. So he gets in there um, and then just instantly they see him and they're like, you! And they like hoist him up on yes. the swing or on the X? I it's couldn't the swing. I think it's the it's swing. It's the swing. He also describes himself as like a sight, an unusual sight to see. Unique sight for even there. I stood skinny and toned with a firm ass and I was like, you can get over yourself just a little bit. There's a lot of ageism shit happening in this book that I did not like. I'm like, yeah, you're a teenager and congratulations. Chill the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah. I can see both sides because he was so down on himself and everybody else was kind of like he felt so insecure Mm -hmm. that I was like, if this is your moment and you for the first time have felt like you're coming 
stepping yes. into your own and you mm-hmm. are in like your, you know, like glory moment. Is it because yeah. he has green hair? Does he have green hair? Did you see the cover of the book? Oh, oh. there's a guy. Which, if that's what, if he looks like the cover of that book, no you way. have no, you are not allowed to feel self. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, like your friend, cowboy bebop, yeah. but with mm. green hair. When your friend, who's like a supermodel looking person, is like, I'm so ugly, I'm shy. And like, shut the fuck <laughs> up. Well, uh, the cover. If you guys show the cover, it's an anime looking guy with green hair. So the whole time while I was reading this, I was imagining a guy with green hair getting yeah. fucked in a. Oh. Oh. Hell yeah. So maybe that's why he was getting those stares. Oh, because he has green hair? Yeah. Oh, he's like me... Cosmo from the Fairly Odd the... Parents. <laughs> oh my he's like, he's... he's just like that. Yeah. <laughs> that famous anime character. <laughs> 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 but here's the thing that kind of like took me, you know, out of it. He said no, didn't he? Wasn't he when they were hoisting him up on the chair or the swing? Oh, wasn't did he? he? I think he was I like, I don't remember that. I feel like he was like, no, no, I don't want to. That mm-hmm. sucks. I don't remember that. I thought he recognized the guy from earlier. He did, even though salami he dick only, guy. Yeah, he oh. met thick salami dick f- f- through more than Which just the glory hole. And they could circle. instantly okay. tell that Then maybe they I were... read it wrong. Maybe okay. I read it wrong. I did read maybe it last read night, it so it was late. <laughs> um, here's something I didn't like. So this whole time, because the covers cannot necessarily be trusted with some of these books, we have encountered this in the past, I was like, okay, it's kind of cool that you have no description for this guy. Mm -hmm. He could be anyone, he could be you, he could be me, whatever. At this moment, he goes, and then a black guy came in. I was like, he's right. white. Everyone in this fucking everyone's book is white. white. Everyone's fucking right. white. And then he calls his penis a long charcoal rod. I literally wrote. I'm like, you've never no, seen a black thank dick. You. You've, you've never, never met a, a black a person, and I hate you. <laughs> yeah. You've never seen a black dick if you call it yeah. a charcoal you, rod. You're disgusting. But Shut up. The author's name is Tyrone. He's a white guy named Tyrone. Or he's a white guy named Michael, who's <laughs> like, I'm going to, what's my fantasy name? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Tyrone Myler. Yeah. Yeah, okay. uh, which is like maybe an anagram, like a, a fucking uh, a palindrome. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, oh, wait, right. oh, and then I, someone was quickly jackhammering his teenage boy pussy, <laughs> horse in his ass, hot sticky salt spray. Hot These, sticky salt spray. I didn't spray. like That's that so one. It's something that you put in your hair like a little mist yeah, to, to give it, it waves. texture. Yeah. My salt, hot sticky salt spray. So if we are tracking this in terms of storytelling, this is the um, the the final battle the final battle this is the final battle with him in that swing yeah yeah and this is him just taking every fucking person he can get even yes. that old man with the chode yes and he's just trying to get through it it felt like reading if someone were to if you were watching like a really heated basketball game it mm-hmm. felt like reading a description of it, it was so fast everything was happening. Oh, yeah. i couldn't keep track yeah. of all the players when so you're in a sex swing do you just lie there or actually are you actually push like a swing swing <laughs> i imagine you're going to be rotated around that's why oh, would you need I to be see. in a swing. swing. Okay. Oh. Makes sense. Yeah. 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 Um, so it's very much like a... I feel like a I lot of nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's already full of cum. Yeah. What's he going to do? Puke he's already, yeah, he's already like gagging. <laughs> There's saliva <laughs> everywhere. He's not sitting well, yeah. Um, I love this part when he was getting <laughs> fucked on the swing that three dudes watching all like blew their load at once. It reminded yeah. me of like fireworks or something. Cannons, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shoot the cannons. How long do you think he was at the bathhouse? 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say like 11 whole minutes later. <laughs> oh <laughs> my God. That would be crazy. If all of this happened in like eleven minutes, a comedy uh, <laughs> sitcom without commercials. Yeah, this could be oh, on like yeah. Adult Swim, like as one of those like late. It's like that's Imagine the that you're binging something. Yeah. This is one episode. Mm. Then what do you do? When he's walking up, the guy that gave him the condoms is like, "Wow, you were there for a record long time." <laughs> oh, this was the sad one. A nerdy. Uh, so this was the. Uh, it was like everybody fucked him, and then this sad little nerdy dude came up and he said, "A nerdy looking fellow slid his five inches into my mouth, which I swallowed easily, grunting like a hog." <laughs> Woo! But at least he took it right. Yeah. How was the guy nerdy? Uh, he had glasses. 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 Um, there were a the lot steam of steam room. They got all steamed up. I imagine the author got really excited reading this part because there were a particularly high amount of typos. <laughs> so one of them I wrote down was, "My mouth was filled and overflows. My eyes were drenched." <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> anyway, mm-hmm. are you sure it's not a haiku? Yeah. Oh my god, wow, it is. It's a perfect haiku. Um, anyway, 
at this point he leaves he goes back home he goes back home or covered in cum he rather. never takes that shower which no. really bothers what really me. bothers me he brushed yeah. his teeth He's, it said that he had cum in his out. hair he had cum in his hair it was dripping down his chin as he walked and like turned his head and like that shit doesn't dry properly like you are gonna look like a cobweb <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say he's gonna look like a candle in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna look like Lumiere. <laughs> He's gonna look like a melted candle in a few minutes. Yeah, he just passes out in the bed. Having only brushed his teeth and used some mouthwash. He he's gonna method. wake up not. He's gonna definitely have pink eye. That's one of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And then I woke up and both of my eyes had pink eye. That's one of those things where, like, if you're like tipsy at night and you're like, oh, I don't want to take my makeup off, oh, but yeah. you just like you have to because you're gonna be so mad at yourself yeah. that you didn't the next morning. You just yeah. you have to. He's gonna be if, stuck to the bed. If yeah, if you're covered in this much cum, I'm sorry, buddy. You have to take yeah. it and you gotta yeah. put those clothes in a bag. Yeah. But I feel hot at the moment, but I'm telling you, yeah. You're gonna you feel wake so up, much better. You're not gonna be able to open those eyes. Yeah, you know, like your to... eyelashes are gonna rip off. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of what my ideal version of a bathhouse would be, and I think it would have to be a room where it's like you get together with the group and you all just get to like chat for a bit and like have some snacks and wine and like get yeah. to know each other. Mm. I agree. And then you walk through the the uh, the shower room and so it's the hangout room, yeah. the lounge, then the shower room, then the sex room. You guys all have sex and have fun and it's all consenting mm-hmm. and you all know that you want to like yes. be together yeah. and then you all go and take a shower yes. and then if you want to go back you could do it again but we shower in between every session. Yeah. You know what this sounds like? It sounds like a Viking's piece. Oh, you know I'm such a Viking. I know. And there'd be furs all in I the lounge. I know. Mm-hmm. And you're all drinking juice and like. I'm definitely a Viking. Yeah. For mm-hmm. sure. Uh, but the kind of sum up was like. Uh, he passed out and slept. He can only hope he gets the chance to go back to Philly one day. Aww. What a sweet little ending for this like little paradise day he got before his mm-hmm. convention. convention. No, I think I was saying this <laughs> Math before. Convention. I'm like, could it be that that first day he did just go home, you know, and then this was all a dream, like a Wizard of Oz situation? Wow. I mean, I love that, would that be really too. Sad. How does that go into the superhero? Oh, okay. these are just different theories. Uh, different fan <laughs> theories? I think it's really funny that he thinks he has to go to Philly for all of this to happen. I, we were I talking about that. that like, too. I know Texas is super conservative, but there's got to be. There's closer. Austin. Go to yeah, Austin. go to Austin. Great guacamole. And yeah. Probably yeah. better bathhouses. Beyonce's from Houston. I'm sure there's a bunch of gays there. You're yeah. clo- right. And you're close to Mexico. I mean, why, why are you going all the way to well, fucking Philly? You might I not mean, have a passport. We'll take the tourists. Well, if anyone <laughs> would know, Connie, wouldn't it be you, our Philly expert? Uh, I do, but why I also. Why would one under- travel to Philly for uh, the Hershey factory? This is a different meaning. The Hershey factory. At the Hershey factory. Oh my god! In the, Just the smell of chocolate it, on the conveyor around. belt. Oh, yeah, I love where they Lucy. take out the nuggets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you think uh, this would have been better if it took place at the Hershey factory? Oh <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think there would have been weird puns on Hershey factory because it's stuck between chocolate if there was and a hard place. Like, yeah. A hot chocolate hot tub, and then you could like lick the hot chocolate. But this off dude of wouldn't have taken a shower. He's gonna go home in bed and um, roll around chocolate in his sheets. <laughs> That's an issue for yeah. sure. He's he's it'll probably hell. dry, you know, like he'll, you'd be like an Easter bunny. Oh my it's God. like hotel it's room. If you go yeah. into the hot if you go into the hot chocolate hot tub, you have to shower both before and after is yeah. the rule. That's true. There there needs to be, I think, a bit more cleanliness rules for me. I agree. Mm-hmm. At the uh the, especially if it's all anonymous and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I love that they can go there and just have a blast. Yeah. It sounds fun. I thought it was yeah. a cute, cute little way to wrap this up. Yeah. yeah. I thought so too. Mm-hmm. Um, so, guys, we normally rank these books on a scale of one to five. One being dry as a desert. Mm-hmm. You were dry as hell when you read this. Five being you slid off your chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, if you had to rank this book, how would you rank it? I would say four. <gasps> I would say four. Oh God, is that not true? No, I would no, say it's a high rating. Um, yeah, the descriptions were very, like you know, very specific. Yeah, and I was like, okay, okay. Now there were some times that took me out of it, like between the cock and a hard place, <laughs> and that black man with his charcoal rod, <laughs> yeah. and also the horse references. Maybe I'm going down to a three. 
But you can the, also do point, you know, three, yeah, three point five, 3. whatever. 75. I'll, then I'll, you know what? Because of those last reasons, I would say three point five. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I was gonna say a four point eight. <gasps> oh wow! Honey. Honey. It was pretty hot, but it had <laughs> so many typos. Yeah, mm. my eyes drench. It was legit <laughs> insanity, and I'm <laughs> nothing li- sexier than good grammar mm-hmm. and also logistics of just like what convention did you go to, your teenage boy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why did you go from Houston to Philly yeah. when you're starting college? This is insane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's just uh, certain things like that irk me. Yeah. It'll take me out of it. Yeah. Mm. But it was a hot, hot piece. <laughs> Philly also isn't this like liberal mecca. Like there's no. certainly like very liberal people there, but there's also like we have the Mummers Parade. We got a lot of issues. Uh-huh. Yeah. I was going to say, it's also a very don't angry you, city. Don't you have the clan in Philly? Oh, really? <laughs> yes, we have it. But they can still we be both gay, stand. right? <laughs> I mean, it's just like when you think hot gay sex, I'm like, let's go to Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't think. I mean, I that's where I've had some of my best, <laughs> I will say. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah, but not in a bathhouse. <laughs> not in a bathhouse. In my house. That has a bath. In the Chase Bank. In <laughs> 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 the cafe lounge at the Chase Bank. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Um. Yeah, what would I give it? I think I'm in like a 3.75. Okay, mm. wow. Uh, These are pretty good. I did find, I, I liked having a glimpse in something, truly like how he, it was almost like I felt a little bit like him. I didn't know, I knew bathhouses were a thing, but was pretty ignorant as to what exactly went on in them or what it was. Was mm-hmm. it like a gym? Like I thought maybe there's sports equipment there mm-hmm. and you like work out, but then there's also a pool where like sometimes people have sex. Uh, so I didn't realize they had so many facilities facilities there that were specifically for just all kind of getting together and having this experience which I just I liked learning about that Mm -hmm. and yeah the book had some you know issues but overall I thought I loved his journey from just being really awkward and shy Mm -hmm. to really blossoming uh, you know from a little caterpillar to a butterfly yeah (laughs) covered in cum a cum covered (laughs) butterfly yeah Yeah, barely fly (laughs) (laughs) so weighed down (laughs) Um, I would give this book I'm between a 2.75 and a 3. Wow. Maybe a 3. Maybe a 3. Because I really appreciated the same things you said, Jess. Like, the details about stuff I am ignorant about. I similarly had, like, the Roman kind of thing in mind when I thought of bathhouses. Um, so I really appreciated the details in this book. Uh, like, I love that little towel scene. I wrote that that was very hot. Mm-hmm. Some of the descriptions were really hot. Um, the things that took me out... I mean, that black guy thing at the end, I was like, yeah, I mean, y'all know me by now. I'm like, where are the people of color in any of these books? And I was, it was like, so oh, long, too. I was like, wow, what a refreshing book. I that, know. Like, colors and descriptions, besides, yeah. like, penises, weren't really even brought into it. Exactly. It's like, we're just here. Yeah. And it could be anyone. Like, he could have been, been any be race. Anybody. I could be him. And it was like, okay, you're all white. Great. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, in the Phil- default. In Philadelphia, uh, those, okay. okay. Um, so I hated that. Um... But I thought it was a cute little wrap up. I kind of, even though I also thought maybe this would be a love story, I actually kind of liked that it was just like a hookup story that's like, you know what? I just found myself one weekend and yeah. I had a good mm-hmm. time. And that's step one of my journey. He fell in love with himself. In a hope fell in love with himself. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he taught himself. He yeah. was the yeah. one teaching the oh, first time. He's the teacher. The student has yes. become the master. Literally has sex of the city. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Pretty much sex in the city. Mm-hmm. Um, well, that is it, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for listening and watching. Um, our next assignment, if you read along, uh, I think you guys Drum will be excited. Roll. We have part two of our Alfie story. Yes. So we are going to be reading chapters five to ten. Or six through ten, right? Or six through yeah. ten, sorry. So originally we read one to five. Now we're reading six to ten. And we know that the author is adding more stuff. We will try to keep up. Yeah. It's just easier to do it in chunks like this. Uh, Yeah. So we're super excited because we know everyone, you guys had all mentioned how it really picks up after that fifth chapter. So I'm excited to see. I did check on the site and there was a super cool picture of Alfie with this really hot chick is like the newest thing that had happened. So I was like, damn, I'm excited to get into this. I got to know what happens with Lydia, the woman of color. Oh, yeah. (laughs) I hope. I hope she does well. (laughs) I hope she does well. (laughs) Um, Thank you so much for listening. Have a sexy week, everybody. Thank Thank you to our guests. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Connie. Bye. Bye. Hi, it's Reka. If you like college humor and want to support us, sign up for Dropout. 
For the monthly cost of 250 candy bars in the year 1920, you can get videos like this a whole week sooner. You can chat with us live on the Dropout Discord and get exclusive content like the vodcast Erotic Book Club. There is a lot of blanket play. It's a lot of blankets, a lot of, oh, I got you a what? gift. Oh, let me you tuck you into bed. And I'm, I'm like, tuck. oh, God, yeah. <laughs> so sign up for your free trial today. And it was so great meeting you. If you want to, like, share some of those candy bars over wine sometime, you know, like, I am available, you know. You get, like, 125, I can get 125. I don't know, it's just an idea.